Hello everyone, and we're today's Stone Raphael. So yeah, this quick cuts up uh, throughout this reaction. Yeah, I'm gonna have this thing on my hand. It's kind of um, uh, I'm not exactly sure the specific name, but it's, yeah, it's kind of like you know a little strap thing. You know, it kind of compresses against my hand. It's just my uh, right hand's been you know bothering me lately. It's just um, yeah, but uh, my hand's been going through a lot of stress lately, especially this one. But this hand particularly is going through a lot of uh, definitely hurt more. Like we're doing like all the school work. I, I do like physical. Physical work at work, and then of course, um, yeah, I was playing games at, on the side stuff. So yeah, it's still been a uh, kind of sore, not like uh, excruciating pain, but it's been really sore lately. So I'm using this to help compress some of the pain. And also, my left knee's been bothering, so I was got strapped there. But anyway, so getting to actual video today. So yeah, um, as it is Sunday again, and yeah, I'm like the last episode of Reference Movie Season 14, particularly episode 24. Reference Blue versus Rooster Teeth. So, um, so yeah, when I first heard about this particular episode, I definitely got pretty excited since, yeah, it's basically the Reds and Blues meeting the creators, aka Rooster Teeth Productions. So, yeah, a more like, and I kind of saw this could be another live action type video. And yeah, it looks like, you know, the uh, uh, Red Blues, Reds and Blues going to the Rooster Teeth office. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, probably Bernie, Gus, um, Je uh, Jeff, and all, all those guys. So, this will be uh, a very interesting episode and a one hell of an episode to end this season. I'll kind Kind of like um with uh yeah yesterday we would achieve the end of like kind of, with uh like a comedy sitcom type episode with everybody falling and stuff so um yeah this should be interesting so without further ado let's get started but first her throat but <clears throat> all right so let's react to red first blue versus rooster teeth here in three two one play and it's definitely now, very hard to time yourself. I know it's been a while since we covered it, but what? for this last piece, I'd like to bring up the whole multiverse theory. Oh, again. yeah? See, I was digging through my archives and I found something crazy. Mm. I mean, seriously, dude. C A R. This might be the last time see pics. This guy sucks. It's suck. a theory about a universe where red versus blue is just a cartoon oh. made by a bunch of losers. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, talk about far fetched. <laughs> yeah. But still, seemed entertaining enough. So. Let's just humor the idea. All right, so yeah, let's see how this goes. And for first, boo for Rusey Teeth. How are we gonna start this off? Okay, sorry, the Reds here. Work on a uh, teleporter. Oh yeah. Oh oh. Bend over and work those nuts. Oh, uh, donut. Wait, yeah, why? Jesus, the in windows. Understand how our teleporter keeps breaking. Who could be taking parts out of it? Caboose? Well, uh, certainly no one building a secret physical location object transfer device. Sometimes referred to as a plot device for short. What? Not that I would know. <laughs> teleporter teleporter. I already tried telling him all you have to do is turn the power off and then turn it back on. Yeah. Problem will fix itself. Oh, uh, work here. It's like, uh, global cooling. Bueno, lo que ha incompetencia veis más. Muchos amigos, Kimo Sabi. What? Okay. Activate red base teleporter number one. Okay, at least got it on. Whoa. What's wrong with this thing? Whoa. Oh god, it's drawing too much power! Oh jeez. I had to use... Oh, ten... oh jeez. <laughs> I'm not too surprised at him. Oh no, oh god, he's gonna... Whoa. Hello. Hey, Kaboot. Yeah. And I really wanted to climax with all you guys. <laughs> She's done in this episode, Jesus. Oh. Which means you is even dumber than us is. Caboose, why were you in our teleporter? Well, I was playing hiding. Wait, what? Tucker, uh, I crawled into the deep freezer, my favorite hiding spot. Wait. I saw oh, I was... Wait, cuts, guys. What are you doing? Well, okay, those are Caboose's lines. Oh, yeah, I was confused. Well, the blue guy, not the red guy. <laughs> oh, son of okay, now I'm miles down here, guys. You're actually you guys filming it. No, it's so confusing. Guys, please, you know I hate it when I can't tell if you're being sarcastic or not, right? So could you just, you know, reason with me here? Oh, right Mr. Miles Loon, I can't tell if you're being sarcastic. Mr. Ryder, gotta use the big words, like sarcastic. Oh, uh, I'm not too familiar who these other two guys are besides Miles, so... Oh, hey, Bertie. Well, well. Oh, hey, dude. Isn't another episode? It's been one since I actually Jeff for a while. What oh. a <laughs> lovable collection of bickering morons! What? Of course, the actual characters in the actual show are funny, but I guess you dipshits are even funnier. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, Bernie, so good to see you. Look, it's getting late. We have a tight schedule here, and all we have left to drink are these Rocket Rooster energy drinks that Matt keeps Ooh. forcing on everyone. Hmm. That's because it gives you a magical level of efficiency. Miles. Okay. Also turns my ass into a magical mudslide. Jesus. What do you want? Oh, 
I don't know, Miles. Maybe I want to save the legacy of my inspiring career from the millennial hacks oh. that have taken over my show. Yeah, basically. <laughs> back when we worked on Red vs. Blue. Yeah, back in my day. gave a shit. <laughs> Isn't that right, Jeff? I don't remember. <laughs> I remember you worked on the show for like six years. <laughs> I drank a lot. <laughs> All right. No, uh, thanks for stopping by, but I think it's time you two just shuffled on out of here if you want to catch that early bird special. Well, <laughs> I hear the senior discount ends at Yeah, they are getting pretty old this one, so. Pretty <laughs> probably close to the end of 50s work. Bernie Burn. You got well, there? No, you got there. Well, That's good. That's good. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I guess you guys think that you're pretty hot shit, huh? Well, guess mm. what? We are the hottest shit that there is. In fact, we're so hot, we're like a uh, giant bag of shit well, uh, that's lit on fire, and then you put on your neighbor's doorstep, ring the doorbell, and run away in the middle of the night. And then your neighbor comes out in his robe and his slippers, and he's like, what's uh, this? Oh, it's, it's a huge it's a, um, on my doorstep. I better put that out. So he starts well, stomping on it. He's stomping on the fire. relation to this scenario there, Bernie. He's stomping on fire. He's stomping on shit and that hot shit that's on the bottom of his slipper that's us that's a really fucking weird metaphor yeah you really fucking weird metaphor am i right jeff uh i don't know how can you not know it's not that hard i still drink a lot <laughs> what are you just drink right now gentlemen i think it's time you moved on Okay, now if you'll excuse us, we gotta get back to adding three dozen brand new pivotal characters to this season's story arc. That was easy. Later. Hey, who are those characters or? I made pivotal characters. <laughs> Come on, Jeff, let's go. Yeah, let's go, Jeff. What? <laughs> okay, I'll. That was awesome. Uh, right, now, was that a sarcastic high five or a serious one? I, I, I just don't want to go down this road again, okay? Oh. What does sarcastic mean? Ay, ay, ay. Son of a bitch. How can they be so arrogant? Oh, jeez. No one's better than me. Oh. You know, we need to put those guys in their place. Oh, what is he going to do? But how? Yeah. We can convince them to make some kind of permanent change in their appearance, like a mark or a design or something on their skin that seems super cool at first. But like he does? 14 years or so seems ever so slightly less cool. Oh, yeah. Who am I kidding? Nobody's dumb enough to fall for that repeatedly. Oh. Uh, no, nobody's that dumb. Well, we is... But a simple solution. Are we ki wait, what? Why is <laughs> Okay, I'm dead curious why they have that. <laughs> Would they really do that? I hope not. Uh, like the Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> okay, now. Jeff, that's the final solution. <laughs> I'm gonna cut the power. Oh. Yeah, my Nazis. That was kinda weird. Yeah. Well God damn. Oh. Precisely, Lopez. Scientifically, there's only one way to make sure the teleporter is finally working properly. Go through it. That's for all of us to jump into it at exactly the same moment. Uh, yeah, seriously. Sir, that doesn't make any sense. On the count of three. Ready? Well, this is a great plan. Mm. One. All right. Oh, do this thing. Okay. One. Oh, man, this is going to work perfectly. Yes. Two, two. Yeah, I'm a little bit there. And and three, 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 three. Guys, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Tucker's supposed to come out of the teleporter and say his line. Oh, which, which one is? I was curious where Tucker is. Or one. As well as Churchill. No, 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 Carolina Cyan. Well, Tucker's aquamarine. They're the same color. <laughs> Which one was turquoise? Guys, <laughs> look, Tucker's black when he comes out of the teleporter, okay? It's not important because black lines don't matter. Well, Boy, what the well, well yeah, what the? <laughs> oh, he's full. No. Oh, shit. Other oh, drinks are in what is it? You're full. No, not the Xbox. Oh, boy. Three. Oh, jeez. Oh crap! <laughs> oh, they're actually here. Nice. So, I... yeah, shit. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. The... Oh, uh, caboose. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I do that, but I don't know. <laughs> well, that worked better than I thought it would. Yeah. All right. So now there's CGI in the RU verse. That's cool. I'm really like, you know, the like, like the. I like the, oh, the animation stuff for them actually look like they're in here, so that's cool. Oh. I like how you guys have rights for them. <laughs> oh, jeez. 
like I just got slathered in baby oil. And now I'm ready to party. Donut. Pants, it's clear that our teleporter has been sabotaged. Yes. Now, we find ourselves smack dab in the middle of the enemy's lair. What? Are you sure? <laughs> this, uh, lair looks more like a warehouse. Yeah. That would make it a lair house. Oh, lair house. <laughs> There could be traps set around every corner. What's the plan, Sarge? We need to reconnoiter. Emphasis on the noiter. What? No. Got it. I'll scope out the enemy's mess hall. Of course he would. Learn the way they think. There's got to be a control room here somewhere, and hopefully a day spa. Uh, I don't think they have that here. Okay, look. All right, well, Buzz, you get to work on that. Excellent, hey. Workload is evenly divided in. Yes? You take the left flank, Simmons the right. Donut, take the rear. Oh, God damn it. Wait, what about Caboose? Uh, I guess he's making like a wander or something. I'm also curious who else is going to show up when we see here one that. Oh, okay, Mad Joel. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't seen those guys in a while, too. This is hey, pretty Joel. cool. Oh, yeah. Hey, man. You're late. Yeah, I like to come in uh, after the animators have gone home for the day Whoa. and uh, mess with their desks and weird <laughs> so Oh, jeez. Use Kleenex and then the lotion. Oh, and, uh, uh, oh geez, the Joel. <laughs> oh, hey, type this in. Whoop. M-E-A-T-S-P-I... What? What was that? Oh, jeez, this would be good. <laughs> Quick, let's hide. Whoop. Where you're going, dirtbag? Never thought someone put a wall in my way. What the hell was that? <laughs> I'm gonna go around back and try to figure it out. Hmm. Hold this position, okay? Oh yeah, he's got the loop. Have you found the motion capture area? Yeah. Computer. Yes. Authorized personnel only. What in the I'm oh. sorry, suck. <laughs> the computer is mimicking me. Yeah. That computer I ain't rude. Oh, <laughs> comes laser. I see what's going on here. Our enemy has figured out a way well, to capture every move. Uh, yeah, sure. Why well, with nefarious technology like this, <laughs> they could control an entire army. Possibly oh. even two. Or even an entire dead body. Oh. Well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I can put down. <laughs> nice moves there. Okay, so I like every monitor there. That can't be good. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Okay. Let's see. Uh, what okay, so you found the mess all work. Yeah. Gee whiz, the enemy sure drinks a lot of energy drinks. Yeah. That must be exhausting. Probably. Where's the real food? Hmm. What about the enemy eats? Well, uh, you take the fridge there? Uh, mm. fridge and vegetables? Healthy, fattening enough. Oh. Vegetables? Ugh. <laughs> Where the hell do they keep the Oreos? Hey, what the hell are you doing? Uh, nothing. Just, uh, cleaning up the mess here, sir. <laughs> uh, kitchen duty, huh? Man, I hate cleaning stuff. Yeah, Bet. tell me about it. I hate doing any kind of work, especially if it benefits others. <laughs> Ain't nothing like doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, now you're talking. You know, I bet I'm way better at doing nothing than you. Oh. Not a chance. I haven't done anything in years. <laughs> Not doing anything isn't nothing. It's actually something. And you can be proud of that kind of nothing something. Yeah. You're right. It takes a lot of work to avoid doing work. And that's the kind of work I don't ever avoid. <laughs> Why can't other people see that being lazy is the hardest job of all? Yeah, it can be sometimes. I like the way you think. And hey, I may hate sharing almost as much as I hate work, <laughs> If you're still looking for those Oreos, why don't you try the vegetable crisper? Oh. Aw, oh, sweet. I'll tell you what, buddy. Maybe we can split these. I'm only going to eat the middle part anyway. Well, <laughs> me too. And you know what? I think I have just the thing for us to wash it down with. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, I was going to expect that kind of reaction. But... Uh, I'm not cleaning that up. <laughs> <laughs> I think my Rex too, uh, you know, it's like so immediate that I like, just show up like that work. What is this shit? This place is oh, is Gus going to show up? Oh, is this a Merv Griffin set? Oh, they had the Gross. podcast set? Oh, what do we have here? Looks like some kind of communication device. Oh, uh, it's headphones? Whoops. What was that? Uh, probably Jeb. Or... Testing? Testing? Oh. Hello? 
Hello? Why is this guy weird as hell like no same for, for, some people that voice each other or like yeah the same voice talk to each other? The feedback loop seems to be modulating itself. Oh. That's unusual. But not entirely unpredicted. <laughs> Mathematically it makes perfect sense. I think I've finally proven my theory. <laughs> Using this device, the feedback loop has allowed me to transcend the barrier of the space-time continuum. And I can now communicate with myself oh. in the future. Oh, yes? <laughs> now, future me, where are you? I mean, where am I? I mean, where are we? This location, I don't know, it's hard to describe. It's very ugly. Oh. <laughs> I think it looks nice. <laughs> someone with very bad taste would enjoy. I mean, it's a real fucking shit show. What the hell? Sound familiar. Oh, jeez. Uh, is there anything that looks recognizable? Oh, I think I found the control room. Oh, shit. What is it? Oh, I, I saw the enemy. <laughs> the enemy? Is there some kind of war in the future? Uh, What's going on? Kind of. What kind of stupid question is that? Don't you know anything? Hey, man, I'm not the one from the fucking future, okay? I don't know what the hell's going on here. I better just get out of here. This is definitely the time to retreat. <laughs> retreat? Fuck that shit. Don't be a pussy. <laughs> Do you have any weapons? I don't know, something you can fight with? Oh, yeah? I have a rifle with 60 rounds and a couple grenades. What the fuck? <laughs> Man, the future's crazy. Yes. What do I do? I don't know, use one of your grenades. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Okay. Oh boy. Here goes nothing. Uh, <laughs> uh, Gus? Oh, holy shit. Yes, yeah, fucking get out of there. Uh, oh, Jesus. I see the enemy. I'm gonna shoot him. Oh, oh, oh my god. Yes. Yeah, sir, so shoot, shoot yourself! Up, <laughs> uh, and he's still dancing. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, the enemy is attacking. No. Oh. Oh. I don't think you know. Hey, Joel. Oh. Oh, yeah, Tolves. You don't see every day? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, got mad. I'm probably gonna up Sarge here a bit. Oh, boy. How's this, uh, gonna go? Oh, do like the uh, hit him, him in their backs and then it goes right. Ah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. Richard, yeah, I've been dirt bag. Where are the rest of your soldiers? Soldiers? You mean employees? It's a practical joke, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the punchline is I punch you in the face. <laughs> so, no? Who's in charge here? I am. Eh, wrong again. I am. Mm. No, I, I am. <clears throat> no. I am. No, uh, I am. Uh, uh, oh, no, I am. I am. I am. <laughs> I'm repeating the words I said. Do you hear my shotgun a cocking? Yes. You better start a talking. <laughs> Just trying out one line. Oh. Shut the bitch. Oh. Okay, uh, Bernie. So, is ch like church okay, gonna show yeah. up or what? I haven't no. seen him yet here. What? Hmm? What's up in the room there? Oh my god. What? Oh, a little bit. Oh, okay. What the hell's happening here? Of course, don't you know, Bernie, of course, Lopez here. That's Yes. Does Bernie understand? Probably not, but. Oh, yep. Uh, yes? Yeah, dude, I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, check it out, bro. We should have. What the? I wish that I could go just one week without oh dealing with those fucking morons. Yeah, I bet. Oh, jeez. Okay, listen, listen. I don't know why we're here. I don't know how this happened. Oh. Before you pull that trigger, I do know one thing. What? There are four crazy people about to run around that corner and smash right into you. Oh, but really? <laughs> you really think I'm gonna fall for that nonsense? Oh, gee. <laughs> Fuck it, hell. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, run, run man, run. <laughs> and that, you see, what? is not only the true meaning of life. What? Okay, I guess, uh, should take a real me and dog with Joel here. <laughs> in gold. Wait, oh, wait, we're talking about gold again? God damn it. What are you doing, man? Come on, we got to get the hell out of here. Right behind you. What's he gonna leave? <laughs> Goodbye, friend. Oh, yeah, a bye statue or, or it's blue. <laughs> and that was the smartest person I have ever met. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Where did the enemy go? Those idiots outsmarted us. Oh, he still has Oreos. <laughs> like he was 
<laughs> of course, yeah, Sims 2 has his hip over. Oh, oh they find the switch. What the hell is going on? Did we all really just see what I think we saw? Maybe, maybe we were just hallucinating, right? Like, we probably had too much rocket booster energy. <laughs> or maybe not enough? Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Fuck you guys. It's a major profit center. Man, whatever's going on, we have to figure it out. We have to reverse it. The switch. That's how we got into this mess. Uh, are you sure? Yeah. It, it makes sense. We, we turn the power off, and then we turn it back on again, and the problem fixes itself. It's yes? It's proven science, like... Uh, global cooling. Global cooling. We can do this, guys. We can do this. On three. One. Let's go. Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Is Bernie going to get his uh, commitment in the game? You, I don't speak Spanish. Two. Oh, boy. Uh, Bernie, let go of the teleporter. Or... What? Okay. Christ, donut. Oh. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Who wants the cock and who wants the tail? Ah, God damn it. Whoa, jeez. Oh, oh, no. Oh, crap. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, I really curious how this is going to end up with. Oh. oh, shit. Okay, so we're back in the RPB universe. But and there's Bernie. <laughs> Christ. Hello. Hey. Ah oh, shit. Oh, son of a oh, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Christ. So now they're gonna get Bernie out of there. <laughs> that maybe everything's back to normal. Yeah, but you miss it one dude. Yeah, the problem seems to have fixed itself. Hashtag science. Well, yeah. So, I guess the real lesson here is that it's perfectly safe to drink. Rocket Rooster brand energy drink. Damn it, Matt. Is that actual really drink or what? Long term or short term side effects. <laughs> yes. That's the real lesson. <laughs> Fucking <an> idiot. idiot. <laughs> what? What? I'm going to go count my gold. <laughs> 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 oh so my we gosh. make all of our money. I mean, literally all of our money. <laughs> Could you just work with me? Yeah. I mean, it only causes cancer and. Well, some what the? I want to drink it then. What? Well, oh, there's Tucker. <laughs> yeah, oh, hey, yeah, yeah, you said the line. <laughs> okay, you got some more here. I might, I might skip scribes or whatever. All right, guys, some more of the police back ends. You know, it's weird how we haven't seen Bernie around. Oh, yeah, I wonder yeah, where he is. Not the same with Adam. <laughs> Gotta admit, kind of like the new guy, though. Who's the new guy? Wait. Oh, Tucker, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you a model or famous actress? <laughs> bow, chicka bow. <laughs> oh, jeez, Barbara, bow. damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, hey, big heads and blues. Alright, this is Chica probably the last time he's Chica's. It's been fun. Yeah, it has. Old bald British dude once said, All good things must come to an end. Okay. You know, I keep thinking back to this whole multiverse thing. If there's really an infinite number of parallel universes, then that means there's probably an infinite number of stories out there that still need to be told. Probably. Maybe some of them are funny. Maybe some of them are sad. Mm. Maybe some of them start off looking funny, but then they totally hit you with the bait and switch oh. and get you all sad. Oh yeah, if they playing like After stories all, about that. I'm or... just one of an infinite number of Vicks. Oh. Which is exactly why I'm here. Why I've been guiding you this entire time. To open a window. To open your eyes. Yes. To the truth. Was it as true? long as there's stories, there needs to be storytellers. Yes. And that is where you come in. Huh? Tell your story, dude or dudettes. It could be one in a billion others, but it'll be yours. Make it about the Reds. Make it about the Blues. Heck, make it about some other group of soldiers that no one ever heard about until you... So told. make your own fanfic? <laughs> Show us villains that tell themselves they're heroes. Build entire worlds brick by brick. Teach the galaxy about friendship. This is cool, this is very big here. whatever you do, don't stop. Yeah. Because Let's keep doing what you do. Without stories. Who hmm. hell? That's just empty space, and you go. <laughs> All oh. right, well that does it for me. I'm out. Uh, All right, bye, Vic. Oh, Vic, I'll miss you. See any more, or is that it? I, th I think that might be it. I don't know. Um, I'll keep going a little bit. Uh. 
Okay. I think it's links to previous videos and such. Alright, so that was for our first move versus Bruce and Thief. And wow, <laughs> that was probably even better than I uh, kind of thought it would be. That was definitely one hell of an episode and of uh, this re really uh, um, awesome season. So, yeah, very nice way to end it all. Um, so, yeah, I definitely really like the concept of this particular episode where, um, basically kind of like Brick said, like, it was like kind of like another, like, um, like multiverse uh, type of episode where, yeah, like in this uh, particular, like, universe, uh, so, um, like us, uh, like, or particularly, you know, the Rusty staff got to meet, uh, all the Reds and Blues there, particularly, you know, uh, the Reds plus, uh, Caboose there. And I absolutely love the interactions they had with each other. You know, like, obviously, with, um, the voice actors from Rusty, me and their uh, RVB counterparts were, yeah, like, uh, Matt got to meet Stars, Jeff got to meet, um, uh, Griff there, Gus got to meet Simmons, and of course, yeah, Joel got to <laughs> meet Caboose there, and also with uh, Bernie Mean and Lopez, so I, I absolutely love, like, you know, interacting with each other, I especially like the one with, uh, uh, Gr Griff and Jeff there, I, I definitely like, you know, how they, they both like me lazy, lazy, we uh, relate to each other like that, uh, I was like, oh, uh, oh, so the interaction with, uh, Gus and Simmons where they thought, you know, they talked to themselves and, like, from the future and such, and I definitely got that, uh, progress, and of course, that uh, we saw, um, Joel, like, do this, like, uh, some realistic talk with, uh, Caboose there, thinking his statue and such, but of course, they, and in the end, we just talking about, like, buy more gold, so, I, I still, like, to this day, uh, Joel still going on about you know with all the gold stuff and like at the very end of the episode he's like i'm gonna go count my gold or something like that so i just i just remember like oh um uh and um and of course yeah with you know uh uh bernie you know find um lopez there of course yeah him have his own like little speech there of course yeah oh uh, bernie now really understands fans just want that and uh, and of course, yeah, we saw, you know, Bernie get stuck in, in uh, our V-reverse, but of course, yeah, like, how, um, Miles kind of mentioned where, you know, uh, Tucker was supposed to, you know, pop up at, uh, the beginning there, but of course, he it pops up there, and he gets, ah, oh, fuck bears, <laughs> so, and then, um, yeah, now he's apparently the new, like, like, uh, uh guy in charge of Rusty or something like that, and of course, yeah, he tried to hit him, uh, Barbara there, but of course, she didn't really like that, and she did but lay, nail one hell of a punch against uh, Tucker there, so kind of nice her. That's uh, um, and I get I just really like you know like all those subtle like references to point out here. All this, especially you know, like uh, and of course yeah with the adorn uh, all the <laughs> in your windows. Jeez, they really went all out, or at least were like less subtle of all of that stuff. Um, so that was kind of, that was kind of funny, but I was kind of going ugh <laughs> throughout the whole um, episode. And um, yeah, just seeing like all, and of course, yeah, like all little references, you know, the jokes being like poke, poke fun at like RVB and Rooster Teeth themselves. That was totally uh, fun to see. And um, and yeah, just to see, just to see um, the Rooster Teeth guys actually meet the RVB guys. That was that, that alone was just really fun to see. And um, I, I definitely, I'm definitely glad they end up this uh, uh anthology season of uh, Red First Food with this uh, particular uh episode. This whole season's definitely been uh really fu fun overall. Yeah, but, you know, um, you know, like the first time we start off, you know, the full a uh, animation of like you know, that that RB anime uh short we got a few years ago. We got an episode where they were like a uh, mega box. We got to see these guys uh, either like different animation style or like in live action, like in this one. Um, and yeah, we just got like, uh, and of course then we get to see, um, new, uh, RFB characters introduced and such, and, you know, different types of stereos, this, uh, and such, yeah, kind of like, you know, tie in with the, uh, main story and whatnot, or this is just their own story in general, and also just episodes that help, uh, build more character to the, um, the, you know, the characters that we already know and such, so, that was definitely cool, so, this whole season is definitely a lot of fun, I de I'm definitely glad they, uh, able to do this, so it's, Definitely, you know, fun to see all these uh, types of stories being told, and yeah, I like how Fika, um, uh, kind of mentioned it, and there's, like, uh, of course, yeah, they're, they're able to tell these stories, but of course, there's plenty more they probably weren't able to tell in this particular season, and kind of encourages us, you know, to help, you know, write those stories, uh, for them and such, you know, like, make our own stories, like, either on the Reds, or the Blues, or on some our other characters in the universe, or make our own, you know, kind of, like, make our own fanfics and whatnot, so, uh, of course, yeah, they would just keep pursuing that, like, uh, t um, like, um, uh, yeah, this, uh, st story and such, and your, uh, dreams and such, you know, just keep, keep doing what you like and whatnot, so, yeah, I definitely like, uh, what Vic had to say at the end there, um, uh, not really too much to say, but overall, I definitely like how they, 
um, end this season off with this particular episode. I definitely, uh, overall, just like the idea behind it and the attraction between uh, the Reds Red, RVB guys uh, with the Rusty guys. It was definitely you know, nice to see the Rusty guys uh, uh, for, after so long. I, I, I haven't seen you know, Mads, Gus, uh, Jeff, and Joel for so, so long. It, it, of course, it was definitely nice to see their personalities that haven't really changed in all these years. So that's definitely pretty cool. And, um, yeah, it was just overall a very fun episode to end off this very cool season. So, yeah, so, yeah, overall, I enjoyed the hell out of this season. And I'm definitely looking forward to what they have in store for season 15, wherever that comes out. So, see you to the end. So, overall, in this Fox feel. Make sure you like this video, scratch out more videos, and then comment down below. So, this video, I'll check you next. Make sure you check links my socials and sites in the description down below. Those keep on back videos and the last bike polls. And yeah, guys, with this being the last episode of Red First Week Season 14, I believe, yeah, I'm gonna, um, you know, start taking Sundays off since, yeah, you know, hopefully for the, you know, the rest of my, uh, school semester, you know, help, you know, at least try, you know, do some more schoolwork on Sundays and such, or where else they need to do. So, yeah, for Sundays, um, you know, through the rest of the semester, I'm gonna take, uh, Sundays off for reactions. So, at this point, don't expect any more, uh, reactions on Sundays. So, yeah, just a little heads up there. So... Overall, thanks for the bill. We'll see you guys very soon. Bye.